All right, this is Rodney's experiment that um, he sends me his, his uh, he, he, take, he does videos of these light experiments. Then he goes through the videos, he scrutinizes them for pics, pictures that he, he, he can't understand or they're anomalous or, or, and he's got, he's doing work in a different area about the fabric of, of light. And, um, and that's something that I, I'm not involved with, it, 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 but I, it's very interesting. However, that's his realm, and he'll, he'll have to explain that to you. But it, it, as he's doing this, he's seeing these kind of crazy things, and he just doesn't understand them. Nobody does, because nobody understands that light is really liquid. It's really a liquid. Now, look at this. He's got three nails here. Now, what does a nail do? It's round. What does round do? It makes a venturi. A venturi compresses whatever comes into it, which light is, I'm saying, is a fluid. It compresses. It makes it go faster than the speed of light because it's coming in at 186 and it's coming out at 190, let's say, and then it has to crash back into reality, exactly like Cherienko radiation. You get this intense bright white light. But now, look at this. This is the cool part. Rodney was trying to focus dead on this center so that he got this and this equal. He didn't do that. He missed by a hair. And that is the beauty. Now, here's the beauty. If you look at the right-hand side and the left-hand side, there's the nail, you'll see that he's got a strong radiation here and a mild radiation here. You see that bright white? You see that red? You see that bright white you see this red you know it's not quite it's not not the same intensities now this is just it has every single component we were looking for i don't see one single thing that is out of place coming through the slots the first thing you get is a compression wave that comes out ahead of it, it woof, the whole thing waves now you get these trickles coming through here that turn into eddy currents you see these little circles those are what they call eddies and i'm going to show you that later and they're electrical and they're in water too they're the same thing every single thing that is shown when they talk about electricity you can this 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 an exact same thing in liquid it's just that bizarre. Now look at how it trails off of here. Zoom. And look at how it trails off of this one. Zoom. He's, he's got, and there's these little eddies everywhere. Now, the intensity of the light would indicate to me that it has increased its speed and come back to the red. And this side has more power coming through it than this side. Whether he was off this way or that way, I'm not sure. But it appears that the most light is coming through this side, so I would say he was off this side, and, and the light hitting is, is forcing its way through this slot and not as much through this slot. So you end up with this lesser, and the intensity comes out here because it's just so powerful coming through, and it's not as powerful on this side. This is all I can assume based on vortex theory. And I have a video on vortex theory, and it's, it, it, it really just doesn't make any other sense than vortex theory. And all it means is the electron is spinning like this and going forward. And they all go at 168, 186,000 miles a second forward in the same speed. And I can't tell you exactly why that is, but it does seem to be accurate that light propagates out forward at 186,000 miles a second but the frequency is sometimes very tight or it's very loose still going the same speed forward but because of the tightness of the spin versus the loo looseness of the spin that's what's called angular momentum and that creates intensity and and mass and I'll explain the rest of this stuff in, in the rest of the video coming up. But, as you'll see, this is, is liquid. That is exactly what you would see in a liquid. It's another one in Wikipedia. Now, this is uh, eddy currents, and eddy currents that are produced by, by um, electricity. 
and and light is electrons. Electrons are electronicity. They're electrons. Now that's what I'm saying. Light are particles, and the particles are electrons. They're disassociated from their nuclear components, which is the protons and, and uh, neutrons are not present. Just the electrons have flown off from the sun. The sun is losing mass, obviously, because electrons have a mass, and the electrons are hitting the Earth, and the electron is gaining, and the Earth is gaining mass, obviously. <laughs> Now we don't, and they say we're black body. We're, what we're absorbing is not what we're giving off. That's crazy. We're not warm enough to be even close to black body from what we absorb. So, you know, something's got to take a look at that. I'd like to see those calculations. How they decided we're a black body planet because it's, I, I do not agree with that, and I don't think anybody that really looked at it would. So, these are the kind of things that we've discovered. But you will notice these eddy currents. I'm going to show you the picture that. Rodney's got, and, and they're, they're right in there as well with all of the other components of light and liquid. They're all the same. Now look at this carefully. What I want you to look is she's exactly demonstrating what Rodney has seen in light. And she's doing this in water. Again, they use water to show the slit experience. She's using water to show vortex. And she's showing every single thing that Rodney has photographed in his experiments and every single thing that I have predicted with vortex theory is illuminated right here in front of us by a girl with a plate in a pool. Now watch this. So I'm just going to drag she this plate through the water fabulous. in the pool. That's it. But watch, look what watch in front of us. See this? Remember this. The pool. And it's so Remember the edge. They just keep going right you next to each other. I sped this footage up because the circles took three minutes to cross the pool and didn't seem to be dying out. These right. got sharper Remember as they that. went and made it all. You know, this is off of Wikipedia, Venturi effect. When, uh, and this is literally what Rodney is, is, is showing. And, 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 I have predicted with vortex theory. As these particles come, they're not coming as a wave, they're coming spinning, like spinning circularly like this in this direction. So they're spinning, 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 spinning. So as you see spinning coming this direction, that is the spin creates a wave. See it? Wave, 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 wave. And it's a particle. The, the little tip is the particle. So zzzz. now a tighter spin. A faster spin is what they call higher frequency, and a zzzz, that means it has a more powerful mass because the frequency of the spin creates angular momentum. Angular momentum creates w literally weight. If you spin a pound of something around in a circle at one RPM, it weighs a pound, let's say a pound and a half. If you spun it at thousand RPMs, it's going to weigh about 500 pounds. I mean, whatever it is, I am not, you know, I'm just throwing out numbers, but it's going to increase exponentially because of the speed of the spin, the angular momentum. And that is exactly what we're talking about as these things reach here. Now, once they reach here, what happens? Well, they have to all squish together to get through his nails. That's a nail here and a nail here. They're coming through and they've got to get together. That's why they're showing this brilliant white because that is a high energy. Of course it's going to be a higher energy. There's more compression. That is what energy... It's going to, it's going to translate into energy. As the energy increases in here and the chaos increases coming out of the other side, these particles have to find their way again. Some of them are going to going to spin off in all different directions as they come back. First of all, they're going at the 186,000 miles here. As they accelerate through here, let's jump them up a couple thousand miles a second. I don't know what will happen, but they're going to go higher. And when they come back into this medium, which is the same as this medium, they're going to crash back into reality, and they're going to turn brilliant white, and that's called Cherienko um, radiation. And that is fully understood, and it is exactly seen the same in uh, nuclear reactors. It's a brilliant white, atomic white which is the deceleration of high energy particles when they hit the heavy heavy water. All right, the claims I'm going to be making today are extraordinary by any means and um, and I just want you to understand that I'm not known in the scientific community. I am going to make claims that are 
extremely extraordinary, but I do have some background in this. I'm just going to run through these things to show you that I've been doing this all my life. And, uh, and I understand what I'm talking about, and I believe what I'm going to show you is, is valid. And you have to make up your own mind, but I'd like to have somebody in the scientific community take a look at it because it appears to be exactly what we're saying, and it, uh, I have no other explanation for it, and if you do, that's what I'd like to hear.